well. Good morning. <laughs> okay. We're going to Dubai. <laughs> well, that's one way to spend 20,000 Goog Bucks. Good morning, Samurai Sam. Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are here in Dubai with today's daily challenge, which saw us start with three motorways. And then after that, weekly choices are a mystery. So we have no idea what we're getting. Samurai Sam was not first, and when Samurai Sam is not first, he just randomly picks something, and in this case, decided to set 20,000 Goog Bucks on fire, which, listen, I understand. Let's take ourselves a roundabout. Bug Unicorn was here first. Good morning, boggers. Hope you are doing well. Sunflare Space is here as well. Good afternoon, Sunny. For once, I remembered that it is indeed the afternoon where Sunny is. Oh, Stretch wound up not doing a bonus Baldur's Goog stream last night. Thought about it, then realized that by the time I was free and able to do it, it was like 7.45 and I wanted to start winding down for bed by like 9, so I didn't. <laughs> Instead, I played Final Fantasy XIV for the first time in, let's call it three months, and it's probably some number close to that. You figure I should, every once in a while, I should at least check in on what's happening with Final Fantasy XIV, given that it's, I think, the only video game I own where I, well, the only video game I play where I keep paying to play it. Yay, subscription games. Um, is that true? Yeah, I think that's actually true. Anyway, uh, these greens are going to come up here. These greens are going to come up here. These uh, 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 yellows are ooh, buddies. It's fine. Here, you're going to come up down away. And actually, I think we're going to need this tile right here for our pink friends. You go over like that, and then around and down and in. The yellows go over and down. Like so. There. Everything's coming up Goog House. Sort of. Kind of. Give me road. We have 41 road tiles now. Everything is fine. I lied. We have 42. We got one back. All right, that green has gone circular. Don't spawn over there. No, don't spawn in the, no, don't spawn on the that side of the river. I can't do anything with greens on the that side of the river, greens. No. F-O-R-T-Y. F-O-R-D-Y, Hulkamat is, I can't finish the rhyme. But I did! I did finish the rhyme! 40 months for Hulkamat in the Goog Troop. Thank you, my friend hulk a -Matt. Let's use one of our three motorways to get these beiges over to here. If we ever get a bridge, this will be easily bridged, but, you know. Samurai Sam invoking the spirit of uh, that old Iowa Hawkeyes football coach, screaming that he's a man! He's 40! Or at least he's been subscribed to the Goog for 40 months, which is true. It's a true fact. 40 months for Hulkamat being able to drop all of these lovely tier one emotes right there. Oh look, more green. All right, 
Uh, I think we've gotten to the point where we have to uh, we have to accept that it's time to run these greens over to here. So let's do that. We're gonna run this green right here. We're gonna murder eight that tree. Goodbye that tree. We're gonna get a whole bunch of road back, which is something. These greens up here will be much more reasonable, -y, like so. And then boop, boop, bop, and boop. We shall have motorway number two into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. It's me. I'm a TikTok sound. I would say that's not actually true, but I do still have a drop button that goes. And that hasn't been relevant on TikTok in a year and a half. You come up over here. We'll draw another motorway that wants to be a bridge one day. But for right now, it shall remain a motorway. This will be totally fine. We get this over to here. Actually, uh, you could have these three go. I could really uh, actually. Yeah, let's just uh, shorten and screw over all of my yellows real quick. This will be fine. Give me a bridge. That is a bridge. Thank you. Samurai Sam continues to not use TikTok, proving that he is the smartest of us all, or at least the person who is not on a particular piece of social media app, which, okay. You yellows over here need to go do that and then come down here and swing in thusly. Voop and voop. TikTok's fine. It's TikTok is a great way to pass however much time you have to kill. If you have 15 minutes and want to spend it mindlessly scrolling through videos, open up TikTok. You'll have a good time. If you have 45 minutes to kill and want to see Renee Rapp's dance from Saturday Night Live 20 consecutive times, 14 of which are stitched with various girls just kind of staring at her and going, oh my God, she's so hot, then uh, yes, do that. Hold on. If you have an entire night's worth of sleep that you could be getting, but instead feel like staring at your doom rectangle, by all means, open TikTok. That, um, that happens to me more often than I care to admit. Open TikTok. You come into here. All of these pinks will service this pink business. This right here will go up there. Hopefully we get a couple more friendly pink spawns over here. Take care of this circle. It should be fine. Hey, look, a friendly pink spawn. Yay. TikTokers kept beefing with each other in a way that stressed boggers out. That is a thing that can happen if you let it. And I don't have good advice for avoiding it other than, uh, listen, I don't understand how TikTok's algorithm works. TikTok's algorithm decided very on, very early on in my TikTok experience that I was a trans woman and also a lesbian. So, I don't know. TikTok decides things about people. Bockers watches TikToks as God intended on Instagram. That's how a lot of people watch TikTok. You come into here. <laughs> Are we not all trans? <laughs> uh, you, you make a good point, Boxy. You really do. Here, let's reposition motorway number one so that it's a little more centralized with all of our beiges. Don't mind me, I'm just making a mental note, and by mental note, I mean physical note, that Are We Not All Trans Lesbians is, at least right now, the title of this episode. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do here? We've got this green business right there. Uh, it can come like this. Let's do this. This may or may not be the, the most optimal positioning, but uh, we'll do that. Samurai Sam would like to hear a true fact about professional wrestling. <laughs> oh, boy. Here's a true fact about professional wrestling. Uh, it's going to be in the news a lot. Um... <laughs> Good morning, Hulk and Matt. Hi again. Um, there, there, there is a guy who said, well, there was a guy who said he was an actual dinosaur. Now his name is Killswitch, which is dumb, but 
<laughs> no, Hulkamat, seriously, this is no laughing matter. <laughs> Hold on. So, uh, here's a true fact about professional wrestling. If you follow the news at all, you're going to read a lot about um, a lawsuit that's been filed against Vince McMahon. And uh, who, um, just blanket statement, if you don't want to deal with a whole lot of dramatic and traumatic and triggering shit, don't read the lawsuit. There's... Oh, okay. It, it, it. There's a woman in Connecticut who's filed suit against Vince McMahon, alleging just some of the most vile shit. <laughs> just I, literal actual sex trafficking, for instance. <laughs> Sam is very confused. He thought true fact about professional wrestling was the, the good time, happy fun, let's talk about our hobby segment. It can be. It, are we saying Vince McMahon is... It turns out, Sam, that according to this lawsuit that includes uh, very specific allegations and screenshots of texts from Vince McMahon, uh, yes, actually, it turns out that Vince McMahon is not, in fact, a good person. He is, as, uh, as, as has been rather pointed out, obviously, uh, not a good person. And it should be noted... He surrounded himself, he surrounds and surrounded himself with other not good people who enabled and facilitated and participated in the not goodness of the person. And, uh, oh, oh, there were, um, th there's a level of, well, gee, who could have seen this coming? in the suit and the allegations some of the stuff in, in the suit and the article is like yeah I can believe Vince McMahon would do that yeah that's not news to me yeah that's not surprising and then it continues um yeah it's uh so so just to get give a, a sense uh, I follow um, I follow Tim Marchman, who's a good you know reporter and investigative uh, investigative reporter that sort of thing, and he's done a lot of reporting on Operation Underground Railroad and other like sex trafficking networks and awful things that happen all around the world. The kind of person who covers this shit for a living. And when he reacted to the article, this dude who covers sex trafficking as a career was like, this is some of the most vile shit I've ever seen. So, yeah. Turns out that the most powerful and influential person in this particular uh, entertainment media is... According to this lawsuit that has at least a little bit of factuality behind it, given that it has texts that are plainly obviously his, uh, it turns out that this dude is not only a particularly terrible person, no, he's actually a uniquely special, snowflakely terrible human being, which is just lovely. It's wonderful. Is the dude going to jail? Mm, probably not. <laughs> This is a civil suit that's been filed against Vince. There is, there are federal investigations going on, but he is, he, he's a 79 year old billionaire. So between those two facts, I'm going to say no. Vince probably never sees a day of jail time. Um, there are real questions to be raised about just how complicit WWE as a company was in all of this, Hulkamat has the right of it. This is not going to trial. This is not... If, if this goes to discovery, it is going to be awful for WWE and for 
TKO, which is the group that came out of Endeavor's merger with WWE, and it's it would be it would be so bad as to be potentially company killing, if not for the fact that they have multiple hundred million dollar contracts involved. But uh, no, Vince is not going to see jail time. Probably, probably. Like, it's conceivable. Boggers has a point. Bill Cosby saw jail time. Yeah. Like, everything that we know about this lawsuit, this lawsuit basically, I'm not going to say only came about, but this lawsuit essentially came about because Vince stopped paying on the NDA settlement that he made with the woman. And the settlement that he made with her was like half of the NDAs that he had paid in the past and this is the shit that he did to this lady so uh ha 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 it, it, it raises the fairly obvious question Vince what the hell made you pay all of those other women all of that other money and those are questions to which nobody wants the answer either because well they're gross or because they're probably some truly heinous shit. And as a general rule of thumb, if you've done some truly heinous shit, you don't want people to know about your truly heinous shit. This is true, Bagunicorn. He should have paid his bills. He should have left the lady alone. He did neither of those things because he's Vince McMahon and he's a fucking dumbass. Oh, God. Here is a true fact about professional wrestling. Vince McMahon... Is a fucking dumbass. Now, we have a problem. And the problem is uh, this business up here. This is a circle. Why are we doing this thing with this circle? This, this, is, this is dumb. All of this is dumb. You two come back over here, service this business. That's going to be fine. You, motorway number three, are facilitating the arrival of like 8,000 dudes into here. Why? Why don't you just do that? And then we'll draw another motorway to get these up over there, okay? That, I think, will be better. You go off like so. You reposition yourself this way, please. Pretty please. Thank you. You go in there. Motorway number four exists as thusly constituted. Hey, even better. We don't have to draw this, uh, we don't have to draw this motorway. We can instead draw this silly little windy road. You know what? Matter of fact, let's not do that. Let's have the shorter road be for the beiges and the longer road be for the purples. That makes sense. Oh, uh, Hulkamat comes in with a happier, truer, funner fact of professional wrestling. It is 2024, and WWE still cannot understand that Roman Reigns cheating in every single defense he's involved in and only defending the title every few months is bad. That's true. That's true. WWE has simultaneously booked the most honky-tonk man world champion in history and also insisted that we call him the greatest because he's been a very honky-tonk man-esque world champion. This does not make sense. Roman Reigns has not been a dominant globe-killing ultra-god champion. He's just cheated a bunch. He's just he's just cheated a bunch. Hulk, Matt, like, Matt raises a very good point about Michael Cole as a commentator which is basically that Michael Cole sucks, but also that there is not a genuine bone in Michael Cole's goddamn body. Now, recently, I have been thinking a lot about Michael Cole's call at WrestleMania 30 when Brock Lesnar broke the streak, and that was good. I think that was legitimately one of the very best calls of Michael Cole's career. Other than that, I cannot remember a single word the man has ever said. Not because he doesn't say words, but because the words he says don't mean anything. And also because a lot of the times the words he says are stupid and you want to forget them immediately. Let's 
take a bridge, and note that Sunflare Space has redeemed a treat for Nora. We'll redraw this purple road ever so slightly, swoop it down like this. We do not need a Michael Cole for the Goog streams. That is not a thing that we need. We absolutely do not, we do not need a Michael Cole for the Goog streams. It's not a thing, no. I refuse. You come in here, uh, you, uh, this is the greatest mo mini motorway stream in mini motorways history. Hold on, I thought you said Michael Cole. This is WCW Tony Schiavone. Hulk back, get your references right. All right, uh, ow. You know, Matt, this is probably the longest daily episodic uh, mini motorway stream series in the history of our sport. <laughs> we went to the same place at the same time. Oh, very funny. There. Now then. Hello, Nora. Hi. You're a kitty cat. What? What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Nora, you smell that? Is it a treat? Do you want it? Go get it. I chucked it. Have a good day at work, Hulk and Matt. Enjoy educating the youths. That's what Hulk and Matt does, by the way. He educates youths. Uh, these purples are not being serviced because that road never completed itself. Complete yourself, road. Uh, these greens are mm, kind of problematic, but it'll be fine. Uh, do I have a spare bridge? I do have a spare bridge. You know what I'm going to do with my spare bridge? I'm going to take these five... Uh, yeah, we're going to take these five greens right here, and we're going to voop, voop, voopily voop, and schlop them down into here. And now we have all of this green to take care of all of this circle, and everything will be all of the fine. It'll be fine, unless and until it's not fine, but you know, we don't have to worry about that. Don't worry. Everything will be A-O-K. All of these beiges come all the way over here. Go service that. That'll be cool. Sunflare Space has a 100-year-old great aunt. And when asked how she was doing, the aunt always responded, I am a very old human. I mean, you're not wrong, great aunt Sunflare. That's your great aunt's name, by the way. Now, it's, it's great aunt Sunflare. You pinks come up over to here, take care of that. That's fine. How's this pink looking? This pink is, uh... Hey, how are you being servicated? Oh! Oh, these pinks over here. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. You could take care of that. That'll be a okay. Uh, this purple circle's getting a little bit mm, dicey. What if we undiced it? Like so. Pop that. We traffic light verily. Boop. Now the one, two, three of you merge nicely with the one, two, three of that. Form the five, four, six of you. Great. All of these purples go up here, take care of that, that's cool. You might as well join that road. Go support that circle, that's great. This pink circle is in a spot of bother. Let's see what we can do about that. Well, uh, actually you've got a car seat driveways over here, I suppose you're fine. You have just gone circular, which is not great. But, generally speaking, I think it could be worse. Let's take, uh, we're gonna take this, and this, and this, and we're going to resupply that link. So now you have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, working their way down here into that circle. That should be fine. We'll make you nine even. Uh, you can go down that away. If this guy wants to go circular, that I think would only increase my score placement. So that's good. 
Uh, these beiges are fine. Bowling is a, a fun activity. I'm glad that Sam's hundred-year-old great-aunt enjoys it. Nora, why do you meow? What causes you to meow on this day, my Nora? You are so meowative. All right, now we've got, uh, oh, hi there. You're a pink. I don't necessarily love that for me, but uh, it's not the end of the world. We can take these four pinks right here, what are presently doing nothing, and just run them up like so. Doot into thusly, okay. Let's do a roundup. Starting in the west, we've got this beige business down here. This beige business is being serviced by these eight beige houses, and we've got a whole bunch of cars and driveways, so this is basically fine. Uh, ooh, problem. You and you can shoop up that away, take care of that. Uh, next is this pink circle, to which I just attended. This pink circle is very busy. Uh, ooh, speaking of very busy pink circles, hi there. You're a very busy pink circle. That's a, hmm, bad. What are we gonna do about that, I wonder? Um, hmm. So this guy, this pink circle right here is mad on account of it has four houses and only four houses and it's a circle and we're like 3,500 trips in. So it makes complete and total sense to me that there would be a, a mad pink circle after 3,400 trips. But as to what I can actually do about that, nah, I haven't solved that problem yet. Let's see here. Uh, you're very close to fine is the thing. Like, you're very close to just being A-OK, -okay, but you're not. Uh, I Listen, the, the cat is very meowative, Sunflare Space. I don't know what you want me to say. She meows a lot. Now then, uh, let's take... You know, I don't think we need to... We certainly don't need to replace any of this. You know, I do have a bridge. I could just do this. Seems like a dumb thing for a person to do, but eh, it's a thing. Yeah, we'll just staple a fifth house over here. This appears to be fine now. Great. Uh, other things that don't appear to be fine now include this purple business. This purple business is angered. How shall we solve a problem such as that? Uh, well... Actually, I could stick a roundabout. No, I thought I could stick a roundabout somewhere in here. I could stick a roundabout in there. Ooh. Hold on. If we do this, and then this, and then slide all of these purples into here. Hehehehe. <laughs> uh, voop and voop. That means that we get four extra purple houses to service this purple circle. And it's not, mm, well, it's not the stupidest thing I've ever done. Matter of fact, I think I see a way to snake three more, yes. Three more purples into there. Wondrous. Uh, oh, oh hi, how long have you existed? Oh, this beige business exists. Oh, that's a pro where is your where is your nose mouth? Where are people supposed to get to you, buddy? Do you have an entrance? Okay. Um, shit. Well, uh, this is bad actually. Let's take these three beiges off of here. We're gonna kill. All of that right here. Uh, you know what? These three beiges are closer. These three beiges right here are gonna take motorway number six. And that's gonna... Yeah, that goes into that, doesn't it? We're gonna assume that goes into that. It should be fine. Next. Um, 
We need purples for this purple. Perf. How do we purple that purple? We purple this purple by purpling. It doesn't make sense. What if we take you and you and you have you come up this way? Boop. And boop. And boop all the way down there. And boop all the way over to here. And you boop. Haha. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four purples into this purple. Okay. Everybody go. Uh, this beige is actually being servicated. Yes? Yes. Good. Uh, next. This yellow is mad. Well, I understand that. That tracks. Makes perfect sense to me, actually. Problem is, I don't have anything to do about it. So, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. If I get another motorway, I could chop these yellows off of this. Like, if I chop these yellows away from this, that'll leave all of these to service that, but it'll be fine. Uh, things that won't be fine, however, include, but are not limited to, you guy. What if, first of all, you should point north. You should have been pointing north this whole time. Nextly, we can do that, and then do that, and that'll not do the thing that I want it to do. Hmm. But if I do this, well, that's definitely not the thing I want it to do. But if I do this, that is the thing I want it to do. So we'll do that. Makes sense. You three, swing back down like that. Thank you. Okay. Everything stopped being on fire now? Everything stopped being on fire now. Wonderful. At least for a minute, stop being on fire. Good. So we swing over 4,500 trips and this pink gets back into fucked. Fuck. It will be mm, fine, maybe. Probably not, actually. It was a thing I was doing before. Oh, right. I was doing a west-east roundup, and then things started catching fire, so we, we stopped rounding. Well, uh, this pink circle is still slowly dying. It has one, two, three, four, five houses, and it's a circle, so, you know, not great. Uh, this purple has decided to go circular, which I didn't vote for, honestly. I think that's a little rude if you want my true from factual opinion about it. Let's see here. I do have a bridge, and this green is dying. So, bad. I don't like that. What if we take these three greens and just dirk them into that? Yep, we do that like so. Uh, you, just, just hang on for a second. If you hang on for a second, I can get a motorway, maybe? No, I can get two traffic lights. Well, fudge. Uh, what if we didn't get that and instead got the motorway that I wanted. Man, that would have been better. Oh well. Uh, what if we have, all right, let's see here. We've got, so motorway number five right here is the pink business ass end of all of this pink ass business. What if we take motorway number five? Hey, we take motorway number five, staple it there. Take motorway number four, and staple it here. Slap a roundabout, roughly there-ish. One end of the roundabout goes off that away. One end of the roundabout goes off that away. One end of the roundabout goes off that away. Now all of these pinks, right here. Take motorway number four, herp up to here, and then either support that business or this business. I don't see how that can possibly be a bad thing. Absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. Here, let's kill a bunch of this purple road, get more purple cars going purple this way. Uh, 
Uh, some of these purples can afford to point southerly. And if you point southerly, uh, we can get that uh, traffic back. Good morning, Luke Ainsworth. All right, uh, we got more purples going this way. That's great. This yellow, which I had previously robbed in order to pay for this yellow, is now bad on account of, you know, I robbed it to pay for this yellow. Also, this yellow, which I robbed something to pay for, also mad. It feels rude. I robbed something to pay for you, yellow. The least you can do is not sound like you have a fucking death cold like I do. God. got a bridge and well all right well this yellow should have been pointing west this whole time this yellow should be connected uh these yellows exist none of these are good things by the way uh i think we're kind of at a point where we just hit go and hope number goes up because haha <laughs> buddy uh this yellow gonna be the one that dies this yellow gonna be the one that dies Oh, Sam, drop those slams. We got 5,900 and something. 5,953 is a good score, a top 1% score, a top 10 in the world score, and not as good as Samurai Sam. Drop those slams in the chat if you got them. We were both in the top 10 in the world, and yet... Curse you, Walla and the Bohemian genealogist and Ag Corcho and Ryan Matelko and Paul Fatherson and uh, characters in an alphabet I don't understand. <laughs> Curse you all to heck. All right. Let us wordle. Curse them. The wordle is not curse. It is indeed not curse. There's an E in the word, though. That's mm, something. It could be flank. No, it can't be. There's no E in flank. It could be flank. Now, granted, there's no E in flank because flank is not a word, but you know, it's the thought that counts, right? No? Okay, fine. Uh, it could be plend. Now, granted, plend isn't a word either, but could be blend. Will this word will blend? That is the question. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba no. Will it blend humor, anyone? Oh, uh, terrible pun smoke. Don't breathe this. Alright, so there's an L in the word. That's something. It could be elbow. Aside from the fact that there's no B. Uh, it could be Elgo. Could be equal. Could absolutely be equal. Uh, hey, we got the E and the L in the right place. That's good. Uh, it could not have been equal because there's no U. God damn it. Curse is foiled again. Would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for basic reading comprehension and observation of my part anyway. Okay, so, so there's an E and an L. We've learned a thing. Uh, it could be email, except there's no A. Uh, it, can't, it, it can't be eight, because there's no L in eight. Um, no L in eight is also how Portia insists that her spouse was fed. It was funnier before they broke up, but anyway. Uh, let's see here. It could be... Uh, Efkel. Now, granted, Efkel isn't a word, but you know, man. Can't be epidural. That has eight letters in it, some of which are U and A, so you know. 
can't be that. It, uh... Who buddies? This, um... Can't be Easel. Bogger suggests that it could be ethyl, like ethyl alcohol. Sure, that's a word. It's not a helpful word, but you're correct that it is a word. Oh, man. Oh, that's mean, Wordle. That's mean. It could have been the word. There's nothing saying it couldn't have been, aside from the fact that it wasn't. But we didn't know that at the time. <sighs> All right. It, it, um... Emoil is not a word. How you conduct a cyber briss. You need an e boil. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It, uh. <laughs> it, it's not effigy. It's a six letter word, Gook. It. It's not embroil. That's a seven word. Uh, it's not Elcor. That is, uh, sadly not... It is not recognized as a word in the English language yet. Give it time. We haven't even found the ruins on Mars. this word what in the hell is this word y'all <laughs> evil with two l's because it's an especially evil word <laughs> oh jesus christ okay well sam got it in five that's good for sam how? What about... If anyone's got a hint who knows it, now, now would be a wonderful hint time, I think. What about... It's not exalt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I thought of it. You know what, Sun Flares? Sunny, Ewell is not a word, but you saying the word Ewell got me to think, like, between me thinking of Exalt and then you saying Ewell, I was like, Exalt, Excel, Expel, Expel is a word, Expel is a word, hey! Oh, uh, Samurai Sam's hint was going to evolve a popular book series by a certain turf. Oh, God, no, no. Here's the other thing about TikTok, it thinks I like Harry Potter, which I used to. Listen, here's the thing. The Harry Potter books were fine. This is a public service announcement. J.K. Rowling is a turf. Fuck turfs and also incidentally fuck J.K. Rowling. This has been a public service announcement. Now, here's the thing. The Harry Potter books were fine. If you grew up liking the Harry Potter books, I do not begrudge you your like of the Harry Potter books. It is 2024. You do not need to make Harry Potter content on TikTok. We don't need to hear your fan theory about Hagrid. We don't need to hear you questioning the plot of the story. We certainly don't need to go to your Etsy shop and buy little Hufflepuff beanies. 
it's fine. Now then. Create four groups of four. <laughs> you know, Boggers, I subscribed to that. I subscribed to that, uh, that, um, that fan theory. Samurai Sam notes that we have pound, slam, and bang, which, um, well, I'm just gonna hit the law and order drop. Incidentally, I've mentioned a couple of times that I intended to clear out my drop board and make room for more drops, and guess what? I have a button that does this now. Which is nice. It's for when I make a random out of context sports references, I guess. I don't have any other new buttons. I got rid of some of the buttons. Um, I used to have a button that would play the, the fail horn from The Price is Right. It's, it's, it's gone. Uh, let's see here. Sunflare Space wants Sickle, Hammer, Croissant, and Moon, which I think might just be a failure of language. Um, like, okay, Hammer and Sickle, these are symbols in flags, honestly. Pound, slam, bang, and hammer are all thwack things. That's true. That's absolutely true. These are all these are all verbs that mean thwack. Ha <laughs> ha! They are verbs that mean thwack. I I, I didn't want to just assume that, but um, sickle, banana, croissant. <laughs> Uh, Parlor Ghost correctly notes that the Herald, uh, the Star is a newspaper too, though. The, the Herald, the Star, the Register, the Sun, um, the Chronicle. Yeah, the, I bet you these four of these are newspaper names, but but one of them isn't. So we could take a shot at it, or we could come back to it and be aware. Like, yeah, there are five newspaper names here, so we have to eliminate one some some other way. So, Sunflare Space says sickle, banana, croissant, and moon. Because these are all things that can be in uh, little tiny slivery arc shapes. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Crescent-shaped things. There you go. Now then. Uh, so, obviously, the four, the three that aren't newspaper names are Flower, Mushroom, and Feather. So one of these goes with its star, because these are Mario power-ups. This is the, this is the feather that gives you flight. This is the, the fire flower. This is the mushroom. And this is the bump, 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 There you go. Power ups in Super Mario World. And then Sun, Register, Herald, and Chronicle are all newspaper names. Hooray! We did connections. It is once again, it's a me, Jean Valjean. <laughs> Sam, are you taking offense? Are you taking offense to my using bop, 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 ba, bop, bop, da, 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 as a verb? <laughs> That's a perfectly fine verb. You know exactly what I mean when I say bop, 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 da, bop, ba, da, da, da. what you might not mean. And this is just <sighs> one time. This is back in the day when Netflix was a DVD service. One time, my family got a DVD of, I believe it was Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. And there's a particular song in that movie where the people, the people of, of Bethlehem or whatever, really want Jesus Christ to inform them of the goings-on in the world. 
And the song goes, what's the buzz? Tell me what's a happening. And I was a child who played video games. That's not Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat. That's some other thing. It's Jesus Christ Superstar then. It's the other one. That I should have known it was Jesus Christ Superstar because it's the one with Jesus in the name and it's a song sung to Jesus. Anyway, the point is, I was a child who played video games, specifically Mario video games. And I may have told this story to my friends before, but I've never told it on stream. If you hear, if you are a certain child with a certain brain at a certain time, and you pick up an invincibility star, I dare you not to just go, what's the buzz tell me what's happening? 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 Over and over and over again. That has been my life for the last 20 something years. And now it is yours. You're welcome. This has been a tiny peek behind the curtain that is the underscore gook. <sighs> anyway, here's today's immaculate grid. We need Atlantans and Royals and Guardians and Rangers and dudes what had 100 RSBI or 30 steals of bases in a season. Sunflare Space, the only thing I remember from Jesus Christ Superstar is that somebody wanted to know what was going on in the world in this movie that was made exclusively for the 1970s. <sighs> All right. Uh, what the hell are we doing here? A Cleveland Guardian who had 100 RBI in a season is... I'm blanking on the name of the dude I wanted to go with. Let's go with Albert Bell. It sounds like a thing that would have happened. Sure. A Guardian who had 30 stolen bases in a season is Lenny Cofton. A Royal who had 30 stolen bases in a season is Carlos Beltran. Betcha Mike Sweeney had 100 RBI a year for Kansas City. He sure enough did. Chipper Jones get himself 100 RSBI in a season? Yes, indeed we do. He did. And I bet you Otis Nixon had 30 steals in a year for the Atlantans. Vundaba. Now, unfortunately, we must name some Texas Rangers. Which, uh, oh boy. Um, <laughs> well, it's a task. We must complete this task in order to achieve victory. Now then. Uh, was Paul Sorrento a ranger? I don't think so. If you think Jesus Christ Superstar is weird, allow Parlor Ghost to point you to its predecessor, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. The one that I initially thought had the song, What's the Buzz? Tell me what's it happening, but no. No, I was incorrect. Also, God damn it, it's stuck in my head now. Uh, I could have used Otis and Lofton in the left column. Oops. Well, shit. Let's name a much more terrible person than Otis Nixon or Kenny Lofton because I'm pretty sure that Omar Vizquel fits the top left square. He totally does. Yay. Oh, let's see here. Do we have an equally terrible person for the bottom left square? Well, I don't think Andrew Jones was a ranger, so probably not. What about, uh, <laughs> why do I think Nolan Ryan fits this square? Because I'm dumb and stupid and wrong about stuff. I'm so wrong about stuff. Pulpert. Wrong. Further wrong. A rolled, another terrible person we could have used for that square. And also uh, Mark Teixeira, who I'm sure is fine as far as, you know, white double-digit millionaires go. Good for him. 
Here's today's Trivial Pursuit Daily Challenge. What shoe company made the Larry Bird shoe and the Magic sh- Uh, that was uh, Adidas? No, it was Converse. Fuck. What city was the first in the Soviet Union? Uh, there, there was a McDonald's in St. Petersburg? No, it was in Moscow, son of a fuckery. In cycling, BMX stands for Bicycle? Yeah, that. Which of the following is not a bone in the human body? It's the meniscus. That's a ligament. Well, what Scottish hero did Mel Gibson portray? He portrayed William Wallace. Ugh. What hybrid pastry fried like a donut and flaky like a... What was... Say cronut, dumbass. I got four. Yay. We got four right. And by we, I mean I, because the the, the time is very short. So the, the, so the group participatory elements are small this game may not be the best for streaming content oh well anyway speaking of streaming content why did you say like posture i don't know why do i say any word like weird words mostly just to be mildly amusing to myself in the moment (laughs) that's it it's the entire point of the anything doing anything if you don't do things to be amusing to yourself in the moment why would you do things it's the point of things. All right. That is going to do it for us here today on Good Morning Mini Motorways. As you can see, we intend to be back later tonight, 5 o'clock Eastern, for the third installment of Baldur's Goog 3. There shall be a Balder Goog, for I will take the head buzzer thingy and buzz the head thingy anyway video games on twitch later tonight and also on youtube today and also elsewhere on the internet why would you go elsewhere on the internet for your content though don't do that granted i hate the word content but come back later bye